Hello and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this video I will be going over the new rotary waterline operation. This waterline operation is not to be confused with the waterline for three axis, uh, roughing and finishing waterline. This is to be used with a fourth axis uh, and continuous. I have here a model that is a good candidate for it. What I'm going to show you is two ways to use it to rough this out. All right. So first, let's create the operation. We're going to do 4D rotary and rotary waterline. Now there's a massive tool in there. Uh, we'll get that set here in a second. Uh, first things first, what I'm going to do is select the faces that I want to machine. Now this does operate like a normal waterline where you could choose not to uh, select any faces and it'll just figure it out for you. Uh, in this case though, I want it to avoid here and here. So I'm going to simply select these faces here and I also am going to include this on the end and I'll explain why in a little bit. So I'm going to select those, go to job assignment and choose machine surfaces. Now I can double click rotary waterline. And go to tool and I want to choose a 3 8 end mill. So I'm going to go to my tool library and choose a 3 8 ball end mill. All right. You would set your feeds and speeds like you normally would. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now, what I need to do is come down here and go to strategy. Now it defaults to a round rotary axis and that's the only option uh, and that's what we want. This is a fourth axis operation. You can set your step over. I'm going to put it, uh, we'll go 10%. You can choose to do an adaptive step if you, if you like. Uh, I'm actually going to choose that. And the other thing to make sure is that you keep the work uh, coordinate system set to X for rotary axes. Uh, this is basically asking what axes is the center of rotation on. In this case, it's going to be the X axes. Now, what margins do is they set your limit in the X axes here. So you could have it go past it. You could have it go beyond it. And here is where you choose roughing passes. So I'm going to have it do four passes. And again, you can give it a step here. Have it sort by levels or strings. Uh, I keep it at levels always. And we can then hit reset and run. All right. Now, what this is going to do, I'll slow it down here a little bit. All right, and you can see how it's going back and forth around, okay? So depending upon how you want this to, to go, is going to be based on which which operation you're going to create in this video. So in this one, if you don't mind it jumping around, this is the one to go with. And it'll just work its way down. All right. I'll fast, fast simulate here. Let it calculate the work piece. The other option that I'm going to show you is how you could select one pocket so it machines that entire pocket and then we'll copy that tool path and rotate it around the the fourth axis every 90 degrees to hit all four pockets all right so you can see there a nice roughed out piece if you had wanted to leave 
stock on this. You can do that in parameters right here, stock. All right, so let me show you how to do the second one. So what I'm going to do is turn this one off by double clicking it so it ignores it. I'm going to right click rotary waterline, hit copy. I'm going to right click this and hit paste. This is just making a duplicate for it. I'm going to delete out the job assignment and I'm going to select the faces. Now I want to make sure in this case that I grab all of these faces, but I need at least one side to include the top here. That way, when it copies, it'll do the next one and the next one and so on and so forth. So I'm going to just choose this face here and say machine surface. Turn this one on, hit reset and run. All the other settings would still apply. Uh, this is just doing this one pocket here, okay? Now, what you can do is double click rotary waterline 2, go to transformations, we're going to check multiply toolpath, we can choose A axis, the step is the degrees, so every 90 degrees because there's four pockets, and how many pockets are there? There are four. So let's make that four, hit OK, reset, and run. And now you'll see it's doing each pocket. So again, that is completely up to you how you want to attack that. Um, and the roughing passes, I should mention too, you can have them, uh, depending upon if you want to do it by the base surface, uh, along the tool axes, tool plane, uh, you can kind of see here um, examples of how, that, how those all work. So give this a try and uh, hopefully this video helps. Have a wonderful day.